everybody, Kenneth Russell here. I hope you're doing great today. Today I'm talking about cables, how to understand cables and their connectors. Check it out. Well, if you're a musician or working in sound in any way, you're gonna come across cables and all different types of cables. And sometimes it can be kind of daunting if you're just getting into it because there's all these different connectors. You don't know what they're called. So let's talk about the connectors in the first half of this video. And then we're gonna talk about the cable itself in the second half of the video. By the way, a huge shout out to Hosa Cables for sending me all these cables and they're just awesome cables. I've been buying Hosa Cables for years. If you're looking to buy an instrument cable for your guitar or microphone or whatever kind of cable you're looking for, uh, don't look any further than Hosa. They're, they really are awesome cables and they have different levels good, better, best, and they're all very good actually. So let's talk about connectors. The first connector I wanna talk about is the quarter inch connector. This would be also called an instrument cable or a guitar cable. Quarter inch, instrument, guitar cable, these are all synonymous with each other. So if someone says, hey, hand me that guitar cable or hand me that instrument cable, this is what they're talking about. So the quarter inch cable just has two ends like this usually, and this is the male connector. They're both male connectors, and we'll talk about that in a second. But they uh, basically just one goes in your guitar, one goes in your pedal board or amp. There's a bunch of different applications for quarter inch cables. So that's, this is what the quarter inch connector looks like. Now there is a male end and a female end to just about any cable, really. And uh, this is the male end and I'll let you decide uh, why it's called the male end. I'm not gonna go into that, but let me see. Where was the other one I was looking at? Oh, and then this is the, the female end there. And it's just basically, uh, it goes, the male end goes into the female end. And so, you know, on your guitar, that's what this is gonna be. This is the female quarter inch connector or the jack. A lot of times people just say jack. If it's attached to something, it's usually called a jack. And then you just plug it in like that. So in theory, I could have uh, the end of this cable could be a female connector and I could keep on connecting them and just making a big long chain. So this is the quarter inch connectors, the male and female quarter inch connectors. The next kind of cable is the XLR cable and that is this right here. Now XLR technically is just the, the designation for the cable end itself. But usually when someone says XLR cable, they're meaning give me a microphone cable or a cable with the, an audio cable with these connectors at the end of it. So you can see here, this also has two ends to it. This is the female end, because it's got three holes there. And this is the male end, it's got three stems there, and they connect together. And you can make uh, audio cables like this, microphone cables connect together and loop like that, which there's no purpose in that other than storing it maybe. Um, but you can connect them daisy chaining them and then on the back of your your speaker or whatever it's going to have one of these ends that's going to plug into or your microphone there's a lot of different uses for this on a mixing desk uh, most of the inputs are going to be xlr if it's a pro mixing desk sometimes you'll have quarter inch on on the mixing desk as well uh, usually those are your main connectors also xlr cables can be data cables used for dmx lights and we'll talk about that in just a minute Right now, we're gonna talk about just the connectors themselves. The next connector that, that is not known as much on the lower end stuff, but a lot higher end uh, pro audio gear has speak on connectors. And this is a, a speak on connector right there. And this is, I think these are both the male ends right here. Now you'll see sometimes that uh, there'll be a female end. This is what the, the female end looks like. And they click in like that. Now the great thing about speak on connectors is they lock into place until you pull this back and you undo it. So basically they just go in like this, you twist them, it locks into place, and then you've got a very, very secure cable until you pull this back. So these are speak on connectors. If you can use them for your speakers, these are great because you're not gonna have anybody tripping over a cable and it unplugs. So if you're a DJ, uh, maybe you're a mobile church setting up in a school where people are walking around a lot. It's not a permanent situation. If you have the choice for speak on, they're, they're very, very good. A lot of times too, you'll hear the word Nutrix. Someone will say, hey, give me a Nutrix 
uh, cable or that Nutrix connector. It actually isn't a Nutrix cable or Nutrix connector. Nutrix is a brand name, so it's kind of like Kleenex. So, you know, if someone says, give me a Kleenex, they, they're really, they're just saying, give me a tissue, but Kleenex is synonymous with that. So sometimes if someone says, give me a Nutrix connector, they really mean speak on. And a lot of times you'll have a quarter inch to speak on adapter used as well. If your speaker cabinet only has speak on connectors, but you only have quarter inch cables. The next kind of connector we're gonna talk about is the RCA cable. Now this one has a lot of different applications that you will see uh, not just in pro audio, but in home audio as well. And this is what the, the RCA connector looks like there. And you know, you'll see this a lot of times in the back of like a stereo system. There's just a lot of applications. The, the consumer world has really embraced the RCA connector, um, but it also has a lot of purposes in pro audio and in sound. Um, for example, a lot of times if you're doing anything stereo, if you're coming from a computer and you're hooking up into a uh, mixing desk, a lot of times they'll have from your computer to a like a, a, one cable coming out of that, which we'll talk about in a second. And then it's making a Y connection to the mixing desk left and right. A lot of times the other end of these will say, will have a, like a red and a yellow. Um, these are also used in video as well. It, it, they're, they're pretty cool cable because they'll transmit a lot of different types of information. But this is the, the RCA connector right here. So the connector itself is called RCA. The next connector is a 3.5 millimeter connector or a eighth inch sometimes is what it's called. It actually 3.5 is, is more accurate, but let me open this up here. You're probably very familiar with this because this is the kind of connector that's going to be on your phone. So if you're, you're plugging this in from an iPod or an iPhone into something else, this is going to be the connector. So that, that little jack that's on everybody's phone, that is a, a, a 3.5 millimeter jack. Now, I'm gonna actually grab my headphones here. This is actually the headphones to my phone right here. And you can see on this one, there's actually three white lines there. That's because this has a microphone hooked up into this. And there's actually three different signals happening, left, right, and then the microphone. Usually though, in the, the pro audio world, you're gonna see this connector right here, which is, it's got two lines here. This is a stereo connector, which means there's a left and a right. So this, this has a stereo connector. Now, this is the same type of thing. It, you're gonna see a male end like this and a female end. Also, before I move on too far, this is a quarter inch cable with a stereo connector there, a left and right. So this actually has two cables in here, two signals going through this cable as well. And we'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. The next cable we're gonna talk about is MIDI. This is a MIDI cable here, and it's got two different ends like this that have five pins. They look similar to an XLR, but they have five pins. This is a data cable. It's going to transmit uh, ones and zeros from a keyboard or an effects pedal, or th it, there's a lot of applications. This is definitely a pro audio cable here. So a lot of times on the back of, of, uh, of keyboards, you'll see MIDI. Um, a lot of times keyboards are kind of moving away from MIDI and they're going to USB. Um, so a lot of your older keyboards are gonna see MIDI instead of the, the USB if you're hooking it up like to a computer to record or something like that. So this is a MIDI cable and it produces or transmits data. So now that we've talked about the different types of connectors in cables, let's talk about the cable itself. So for example, let me compare a few different cables that I might have. This is a guitar cable and this is a speaker cable. Both of these have quarter inch jacks here, but they're made for two different reasons. Obviously this guitar cable, this generally when someone says quarter inch cable, they're talking about an instrument cable. They're talking about this. This is for instrument purposes, but this thicker cable here is for speaker purposes. Now here's the thing with this. Sometimes you can take a instrument cable and hook it up to a speaker and it'll work, but instrument cables are not made for speakers. Instrument cables are not rated. They're not made for sending loud to a loud speaker, spending, sending the audio to a loud speaker. So even though sometimes if you hook up this cable to a speaker, it'll work. It's not going to be as good at audio. And I think that you might be able to damage your equipment if it's, if it's kept on for a long, long time. 
if you're just testing something out, it'll be just fine. But if you're if you're if you're carrying a load on this, uh, this cable is probably going to get kind of hot, and, and I just wouldn't do it. Now the other way around, if you take a speaker cable and try to use this for guitar, it's not going to do anything bad, and it's not going to do anything good either. It's not going to be able to transfer the signal. It, it literally just won't go through. So um, anyway, that sometimes you, you'll you'll see these two different connectors used for two different purposes. So how do you know if it's a a connector or not like this one here this one looks just like an instrument cable but it's not it's a speaker cable so how do you know on the cable itself see if you can read that there it'll say speaker cable and this one says speaker gauge uh, speaker cable 16 gauge and so on these on the instrument cable it's going to say either instrument or guitar cable I don't know if you can see that there or not but it'll say guitar cable on there so uh, or instrument cable so that's how you know so whenever you you if you have a lot of cables um, you might want to just label them that's what I do a, a lot of times I'll just put a piece of tape on the end of it and I'll just put GTR or SPK or something like that so I know if that's a speaker cable or if it is in fact a instrument cable the next kind of connector is XLR and these three can all be used for speaker you can use a, a, a speak on XLR or quarter inch cable. Now, here's the thing. There's really not much of a difference between uh, these cables. If you're hooking them up to a speaker, you're pretty much going to get the same audio. Matter of fact, a speak on cable and a quarter inch uh, cable. These are the same cables with just different connectors at the end. Now, the XLR cable is a balanced cable but um, it's not really going to make a difference in the sound that you have. If you have a buzz in your system, perhaps you might want to try to use an XLR instead of another cable, but generally speaking, XLR, quarter inch, speak on, they're all gonna work really well for speakers, but they're three different connectors. Just depending on the manufacturer, they may want to use only quarter inch or only XLR or only speak on. A lot of, a lot of backs of speaker cabinets have all three of them on it. So just, it, it's the same basic thing. I, people ask sometimes, are you going to get a lesser uh, quality audio if you use a uh, adapter like one of these going from a quarter inch to the speak on? No, you're not. All that the speak on is doing is, is just making that really secure connection. Now over time, probably it's going to wear better the speak on connector is than a quarter inch connector, but it's going to give you the same sound. Same thing with if you're converting anything, if you're, if you're having like uh, going from an eighth inch to a quarter inch, it's the same sound. It's just the connector transmitting the, the signal. If it's a quality connector, then it's gonna be, have good sound coming to it. Now let's talk about XLR cables, both data and audio cables, okay? So if it's a longer XLR audio cable, usually it's gonna be labeled like this one, it says microphone cable. Sometimes you'll see them where they're labeled uh, just XLR or they'll just say audio cable. Let's see this one here. This one just says balanced, uh, interconnected. This one is shorter. It says it's a five foot cable. It's, it just says audio. And the reason why that is is because a five foot cable is not gonna be very good for a microphone because you can't hold it for very long. You can't even stand and sing with it. So XLR cables are the connectors, but one is data and one is microphone. What does that mean? These have different ohmages, basically, they're gonna produce different frequencies. And so they're gonna transmit frequencies better for the different applications. So a lot of times you can actually take a XLR microphone cable and plug it into a DMX light, which is gonna be a, a, it's transmitting data, uh, ones and zeros, it's digital signal, and it'll actually transmit it but it won't do it well and it's going to have some interference and it's not going to be as reliable as a dmx cable basically the dmx cable is better at transmitting the digital information so unless you're just in an absolute pinch use a data cable to transmit dmx signals and don't use a microphone cable now here's the thing data cables the dmx cable will not go the other way around. You cannot use a DMX cable for a microphone or any sort of audio. It just simply is incapable of transmitting that information. It's not made for that. It's a digital cable. It's not an analog cable for those purposes. So you can try to hook it up. It's just, you're never gonna get sound out of it. 
it does, you can use the, the, the microphone cable for digital, even though it's not recommended, but it will not go the other way around. Therefore, what I do is I always label my DMX cables. I just put a piece of tape on it and I write DMX on it just so that there's no way in the pinch. You know, the thing is whenever you need a new cable, you don't always have a lot of time. So you're just like grabbing a cable and you're trying to hook it up. So I always make sure that it's super, super obvious of DMX cables so that I don't accidentally grab the wrong one. Now, if you ever have any questions with it, it'll say on here, let's see, this one says DMX cable, 24 gauge, uh, 120 ohm. If you look here, let me see if it'll focus on that. So it'll say DMX cable on the cable itself and on a microphone cable. It will either have nothing, which is usually they have it now though, because DMX is so popular, or it'll say uh, microphone cable, or it might even say audio cable or instrument cable. But usually it says microphone if it is a microphone cable. So you wanna make sure that it does say audio or microphone on the XLR if you're using it for an audio purpose. So with cables, as you can see, it's actually not super complicated. There's only really a handful of connectors. There's more connectors out there, but these are the ones that you're gonna encounter most um, if you're working in sound or you're working in as a musician, you're gonna see these connectors all the time. It's important that as a musician, you're familiar with these because it's kind of the language that everyone is, is speaking. This is the information that you're gonna need to know as a musician. And so hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you didn't like this video, just go ahead and hit the thumbs down button. I won't be offended. I am kind of surprised you stuck around this long just to hit the thumbs down, but if you did, I'm, it's all good, okay? Uh, I make videos that help make musicians better musicians, so hopefully this helped you. Anyway, Kenneth Russell out, and I'll see you in another video.